Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ooh, ooh. welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ah, welcome around the world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ooh, ooh. welcome you guys. Welcome back to Healthy G Moms House. I certainly appreciate all my new subscribers. You make my heart happy. And my old subscribers, my ride or die subscribers, I am so thankful and grateful for you. Yes, indeed. You guys, you make my heart speed. Boom, boom. Yes, indeed. Again, thank you so much for loving on Healthy G Mom. And I'm loving on you guys, too. Because I'm trying to show you guys how to do well on YouTube. That is my goal, is to, I believe in each one teach one. But today, I'm coming to you guys, telling you about how hot it is. Oh my God. Well, let me start off by saying today is Tuesday, uh, June 28th, right? June 28th. In Los Angeles, California, United States of America. Yes, indeed. It is, you guys, do you know it's almost 90 degrees? But I've been told, like, some of my people that's in Atlanta, or is it Georgia? It's like 100 degrees, right? So I can't complain. And in Vegas, and when my brother stays in Rancho, Cucamonga, Rialto, it's 100 degrees out. So, but here, on the fourth floor, it is 90, it's almost, it's 90 degrees, Okay. Hot, hot, hot. And so even when I, I took a shower and I, I, I had to wet, keep my hair wet, I didn't dry it. I don't blow dry my hair. I just let it naturally grow. Grow naturally. Um, Sorry about that. It, I just let it naturally dry because it's just too hot for all of that. That's how hot it's been. Like you stay wet when you get out. You, instead of drying yourself all the way out, you want to stay wet to be cool. <laughs> And you take more than one shower. You take, take a couple of showers, right? I digress. So here at 2.30, 3 o'clock, almost 3 o'clock in Los Angeles, it's 90 degrees. So, But what I know mm -hmm, is that eating fruits and vegetables. Now, of course, you drink your water. I have my water. I have my, uh, my water that I've been drinking. It's a uh, smart... Um, it's alkaline water. It's alkaline. Can you see that smart? It's made by smart water. I just got a hip to this one. I don't know if it makes you smart. I'm already smart. <laughs> no, I'm but, but um, yeah, and it has the, the pH levels of nine. Um, it's alkaline nine plus pH. And so that's supposed to be pretty good. And what also makes this pretty good, it actually, it's a vapor distilled. Can you see that? It has, it's a distilled. I've been really on a tip um, of trying to drink more distilled water because, you know, I know pure water, purified water is exactly this. They reverse the osmosis and, um, but then they say spring water comes from spring. But all we can do is really believe these people. And I'm not, not here to put them down. I'm just showing you what I'm trying to do is when my, on hot days, is trying to stay hydrated. Like I've drank all of this. I, this is my second bottle from this morning at 6 a.m., right? I try to drink water all through the day. I'll go through maybe a gallon of water and I haven't eaten yet, okay? I have not eaten. Um, I've had uh, my my normal um, ginger shots because my teenager, you know, he's playing, well, football. It's not, he's not playing yet, but they're doing his, this is the summer, so what they're doing is preparing themselves. They just went through what is called, um, they call, it starts with an H. It's called H week, but I call it challenging week instead of saying curse words on YouTube, right? It's a challenging week where they make them do bell crawls, and and he's always bumping against all these kids and coming home bringing me diseases, bringing the, you know, that what's going on right now, the flus and all that. So I have to constantly give him juice. Um, so I've been giving him ginger shots, um, the ginger shots that you saw me make. Then he had carrots. He had a carrot juice. This morning he had ginger shots. And ginger shots, we have lemon, orange, cayenne pepper, 
and um, lemon and orange and cayenne pepper, okay? And turmeric, right? With a dash of black pepper. So he had that. Then he also had, um, he won't eat, like how I love my cherries. Oh my goodness, I love me some cherries, cherry, right? He won't eat like that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. He won't eat like that. So I have to make him be juice. My oranges, I love oranges like this. I went through, this is like my second orange that I cut into dices. And, oh, it's so good for you, for your body. Mm. He really just take the orange juice, right? And just go, oh. Mm, uh -oh. <laughs> I'm so goofy. Okay. So, yeah. So, fruit, he'd rather do it like that. He won't take a regular fruit. I put it in his backpack. I have, I've done so much to try to keep this kid healthy. So I know I have to do what, what, what works for us. So I make him drink juice before he leave out the house. And when I make him his spaghetti or make him food, I have to sneak the vegetables in there. So if it's mushrooms or spinach or onions, partially, he won't cook with it. Mm -mm. I have to sneak it into his food. These teenagers, but I think I probably would well, know when I was a teenager, I ate collard greens because I love some collard greens, right? Um, so that was my, and then we grew up with tomatoes and I, I didn't like tomatoes then, but I eat tomatoes now, right? Um, I hated squash then and I'm not really a fan still of squash, mm -mm. but I didn't like onions and I'm eating onions more. I didn't like broccoli and I eat broccoli. Uh, I didn't really like spinach, but I'm eating spinach, right? So, I pray for my child, and I know sooner or later, maybe he'll get a good woman that, and, hey, look, baby, you got to eat some fruits and vegetables. Because, you know, men, they want to please their woman, right? <laughs> Unless you're going to be just like him, don't eat fruits and vegetables. I digress. But what I'm trying to show you is, on a hot day, I make my son juice, and I'm doing my juicing. I'm doing juicing as well, because I had the same thing he had. But for my lunch, I'm eating a bunch of fruits Mm-hmm. And so I'm gonna um orange and then an apple a day. What's apple do? They say an uh, apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Mm-hmm. Love me. Oh I should let you guys have that first bite. Mm-hmm. So this is about my fruit mud bang. Mm-hmm. Has anybody else had a fruit mud bank? Food mouth bang. Mm -hmm. Some kids, some kids are good at eating fruits and vegetables. Cause like my um, cousin's granddaughter, she love avocados. She'll take an avocado and slice it up. Mm -hmm. My son, he looks like you're crazy, right? What? So Healthy G Mom is asking you guys on hot days in your hot places, and just on regular days, fruitarians. Have you ever heard of this word called fruitarian? There's some people that believe in fruit so much that they believe all they do is they eat fruit, and they're called fruitarians, and they're healing their bodies. I don't know enough about it, but I'm trying to learn. Remember, I try to eat more 80% of vegetables, fruits and vegetables. Right, and so I'm showing you that I haven't eaten today yet, and it's 3 p.m., but I'm eating, but I'm eating fruits. I haven't had no vegetables yet. In my juice, I had a green juice. I had a green juice, right? I had a green juice. I had some carrot juice, and now I'm eating some oranges, some apples, cherries. I had a plum. I ate that so fast, right? And so, uh, and I showed you the grapes. I showed you cherries, oranges, apples. I had a cherry. Um... I mean, a plum, and I have some some peaches, right? So that's what my day is going to look like, and then I'm going to have a nice dinner before 6 o'clock. So you guys, oh, mm -mm. heal your body with fruits and vegetables. Mega love, mega love.